the very first draft of the script was presented here to the public and I'm very, very thankful that two of the actors who worked with us at that time are back with us again. And those two actors are Marta Hatsun, who is on stage, and Michael Ojake, they are back. Um, in addition, the members of Les Bourgeois who have joined us this evening, and this is an ensemble of absolutely outstanding young Afro-German actors who over the last two days have engaged with this material they have interrogated the script that I've written and they've really made it their own. So tonight's reading, as well as being the next step in the development process, has also been a very challenging dialogue between long-standing veteran actors and emerging actors, and it's been a tremendous learning opportunity for all of us. And I'm very proud of the work they've done, and I'm very excited to share it with you tonight. It happened seven years ago, just before I arrived in this country. This is the first time I have seen Julius happy to win. <laughs> What's your point, Manuela? The memorial garden in the park is under 24-hour watch. Be polite, but don't be humiliated. Let him handle his own affairs, huh? He doesn't see when he's being made a fool of. Someone has to open his eyes. So open his eyes. Julius enters and stands near Stepney. What was I doing at your school when I should be at work, huh? Why ask me if you know the answers already? Come tomorrow after lunch. It was her husband they killed in the park. It's simple. Murder. Murder or nothing at all. Julius, please. Please what? What else is there to say? We cannot press charges for murder. Ah. Are you a lawyer? Do you know the law? I know what I saw. We all saw it. Then why are we discussing this? If it was an accident, let them provide an explanation. Otherwise, Otherwise we try not. to... Don't interrupt me, Yusuf. I opened the coffin and pulled back the shroud. The remains of Rahim Ari revealed inside the coffin. The, the police department wishes to assure the police that everything in our power is being done to um, establish the circumstances that have led to this sad and very unfortunate um, loss. Thank you. Who trains these people to lie like this? Who trains them not to tell the truth? It's outrageous! Oh, Manuela, he's one person. It's insulting to my intelligence. The next draft after this will, will be production ready. So what would be extraordinarily helpful and interesting for us and for me is if you have any thoughts, if you have comments, if there were things you saw that were confusing, that you had questions about. Yeah, uh, what I wanted to ask is uh, uh, this play, you said you'd like it to, like, to portray what happened to this guy who happened to die in the prison and uh, that uh, he was mistreated or he, his fate of death is, is not known or something like that. And nobody talks about it. I, I read nothing in the newspaper because it's a black man who died. Because black people, we are secondary people. Um, my question was um, if while, while doing this, this play, while writing this, or have you, have you spoken to people that have been straightly involved in this case? Have you spoken to people from the other side? I think it can be also nice if you will be make out the time and get more uh, addresses and contact and uh, the stories and go directly to the people. Maybe you're, it's not your duty to, to, give, to deliver everything, to give all the background information. To, the one on the end, <laughs> because um, I just uh, I was trying to imagine this woman who just smokes. But I found myself being more disturbed by the man that got beat up by the children. <laughs> <laughs> it's highly intelligent. 
emotionally very complex, very challenging. I really loved it. It's extraordinarily helpful and exciting for a writer to have an opportunity to engage and, and hear what an audience has to say while the process is still happening. It's a very rare chance that we have to do it. So thank you very much for contributing to the ideas.